All right, if you want to be married, you need to watch this. So this is specifically for those that are like believers, saved, and you're waiting on, y'all say, y'all be saying, your kingdom spouse. Okay, so let me tell you what's going on. All right, it's why some of us are not receiving those blessings or their spouse. So recently, God has been dealing with me. Like, I've always recently have to pray for my future husband. Like, he reveals certain things to me about him, his weaknesses, his traumas, certain things that he deals with, um, insecurities. And God have been having me to intercede for him, pray for him, pray for him, pray about this, pray about this. And for, for like months now, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And it like recently I just stopped and I was like, why do I have to? I'm just like, I ain't even dating nobody. I'm like, why? I'm kind of like, why do I have to keep praying? And then I believe the Holy Spirit revealed to me that it's all a test to see if, first of all, we be praying and we want everyone wants a man of God, but when it comes to a man of God, it takes prayer. So basically seeing if I'm even ready for that responsibility because marriage is not just having sex it isn't marriage is a ministry marriage is something that is serious between two people to bring a union together and guess what if you want like you guys be saying this kingdom marriage you want a man of god it takes a lot of prayer and dedication towards that because you need to know the things that he battles with you need to know the things that the enemy attacks him with can you be that praying woman for him so god began to to show me and and tell me that he was preparing me for that man to see if i'm ready which i am you know what I'm saying? I am. So I've been praying. I've been interceding. So now God can trust me to bring that man to me. So right now, God is seeing if he can trust you. If you have no prayer life, if you have no prayer life and you haven't been praying, it's not specifically for a husband because that's not what you should just be praying for. But if you if you can't, don't even have the insight to do that, you're not ready. God is not going to send that person. So right now let's just get ourselves together let's heal let's heal and guess what intercede intercede are you even do you even know your purpose are you even walking in your purpose because when a man of god comes he needs to see that if he's not seeing that he's gonna look past you so sometimes we're asking god to do certain things and god we need you to do this i'm, I'm i just keep seeing people saying my kingdom spouse kingdom spouse you don't pray you really you really you you I, can you really Listen, it's so much that goes into marriage. It's not just this happy, go lucky thing y'all in love. No, it's work. It's work. It's real ministry. That means when this man is broken, when his parents pass away, how are you going to minister to this man? When he's having to have um, addictions that come back, what are you going to do to push him out of that? Like when he comes into depression out of nowhere, how are you going to be able to handle that? It's more to it. So that is why God is not um, unleashing some of our kingdom spouses. So let's get right. Let's get it right, ladies. We're going to get it right.